Earlier in 2002, Peter Sagan's brand new custom painted Specialized S-Works tarmac was released and I think few cyclists would say no to that beauty. But it's a limited, batshit, crazy expensive edition, so I decided to make a video on how you can paint your bike just like Peter's. I can't afford another bike at the moment, so I'm going to paint this beautiful plastic tube instead. The process is the same, so it doesn't really matter. And I will put links to all the materials I use in the description below, so make sure you check it out. For the best possible result, remove the old paint from the bike. I sand down the raw surface with the sandpaper, 400, 600 and 800 grit, to get a smooth adhesive surface. I wipe it down with a white spirit before I apply the primer. I apply it in two layers with a soft sanding in between. For best result, use a 2K epoxy primer. I then apply the white base coat. After approximately 24 hours drying time, I prepare and lay down the stencils for the white logos. I wipe it off with cleaning alcohol and then apply the beautiful deep blue sea metallic paint. I lay it down in two layers, one thin and one wet. Now it's Christmas time and I get to open my package. The unmasking is always fun and exciting. I'm now gonna paint the red, like the seat post on Peter's bike. I want a perfect round line around the tube and I use a piece of regular copy paper. Once it's aligned, I know the line is perfectly round. I use a fine line tape and tape along the paper line. The copy paper won't keep the paint out, so I tape it with masking tape. I wipe it off with alcohol before I spray the paint. And I apply the paint in two rounds. Once the masking is gone, we can see the finished color scheme. But we're not done yet. We need a clear coat. Two coats with light sanding with 800 grit sandpaper in between. For this video, I use a regular 1K clear, but for best result, a 2K is highly recommended. There we go, easy peasy. Beautiful, right? Now, if you want to paint your bike just like Peter's against or like your own, you should really check out this playlist where I go into different techniques, aspects and processes of bike painting. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next DIY bike project. Cheers.